Tom, three goals and three points. It's a great afternoon. Yeah, well, yeah. That, well, the ultimate aim is is being achieved in terms of we've, we've won the game. Um, I thought we played some really good stuff at times, and I thought we made some really poor choices at times. Hence the the scoreline being as close as it was. But um, you know, we got caught cold. I thought a couple of the lads um, just dallied on the ball. In fairness to Dagenham, they got at us very early in the game, and and they, they took their, they took a chance. But again, it took three errors from us to give them that chance. And I think, without being too disrespectful, most of the chances we gifted them, we did. We gifted them. It wasn't that they opened us up with great football or anything. Whereas we sort of dominated the ball. Um, and with a little bit more care and attention, I think at times we, we should have had a lot more than we did. I guess that's obviously promising, isn't it? When you know mistakes are going to happen sometimes. So if they do happen and we can score enough goals up the other end to make sure we get the three points, that's always going to be encouraging, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, the coaches and managers will stand here and tell you, I love to play this kind of football, that kind of football. It's an older nonsense. You want to win. It's as simple as that. And you've got to get the job done. Some days all your players are on it. Some days some of your players are on it. Today, I thought most of mine were, and I thought they thoroughly, enjoyed, they thoroughly deserved to win the game. I just felt they made it a little bit hard work for themselves. But look, the level we're at, you can't expect perfection because you'll always be disappointed. Um, but at times I, I see really, really good things from this group and I just think we're ready to move to the next level in terms of what I want to add um, in terms of the way we play the game. So I've had a good chat with them again after the game and they're probably a little surprised that I'm not going in there all, you know, sweetness and light. I've been a little bit stern on with one of them or two of them, um, but I'm doing it for the right reasons, I, I believe. Kwame getting his first goal, well, competitive goal for us, that's obviously a bonus, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, to be fair to Kwame, he's been excellent, I think, in the, in the games that he's featured, whether he's come off the bench, other than Oldham, poor lad, when he got he got two yellow cards in about seven minutes. Other than that, he's he's had a real contribution to the game. He's, you know, people will always judge strikers on, on goals, I get that, but but there's a lot lot more goes on, you know, he is an absolute... He is a, <laughs> He's the focus of everybody's physicality on the opposition. You know, he's he's getting whacked and walloped. And 45th minute, I think it was, we got our first free kick up for one of our forwards. So he he, he sometimes is a uh, a tough gig, and I'm delighted for him because he's one of them fellas. When he wasn't in the team, he didn't whinge. He came to me and said, "Look, this is what I do. I want to be given the opportunity. I've given him it, and I'm absolutely delighted." Just, just to get his first one in front of the North Bank is, is top draw. And um, well. The penalty, obviously, Key and Harry stepping up. So that's obviously going to be a surprise to some people yeah. when a centre back steps forward. But brilliantly taken penalty, and he's now got what is it? I think four con goal con contributions in the last three games, which is yeah. so so good from centre back, isn't it? Yeah, we had enough clean sheets though. But um, something that can help with that, obviously, Theo's come in now. He gives a bit of a different dimension to central midfield, doesn't he? He makes it a bit sturdier in there and, and a brilliant performance on Tuesday and again today. Well, I think he's a continuance player. He rarely gives the ball away. Um, a lot of people have already had their views about, about why he's here. And I can assure you he's only here because of the football reasons, nothing else. Um, and I think he earns, he's earned his place in the side. Um, he had a little dalliance, didn't he, because he got sent off. People will remember when he got sent off, everybody was cheering for him for doing what he did. But he was silly to do it, and he, 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 he you know, he paid the penalty, he missed a few games. But look, nobody's got a divine right to play in this group. I've just said to them, I think we're close to something really good. Um, and if they keep listening to me and doing what they do well, what I think they do well, we'll, uh, I think there's more to come.